There's a change coming to our local city council elections, a change that could reshape the way we look at local politics. Our city council will be changing from an at-large election format to being elected by districts. This is a mock ballot representing the previous election system where there would be two or three seats available and residents would get to select their top two to three choices. Now this is a mock ballot demonstrating the new system where there will still be two to three seats available. However, those seats will be separated by district and you'll only be able to vote for the seat that represents wherever you live. Once the new system is officially adopted, the city will determine the order that the newly drawn districts will elect their council members. So why now? Why change the structure of our local elections? A uh, lawsuit. I mean, that's the simplest answer. Uh, this is the second one that we've had in the city's history. We felt that we had no other real path forward that was best for the city except to settle and start moving into districts, which is what the process has been since that settlement started. That's how we got here. But how will this impact SCV residents? That answer will depend on who you ask. Some locals feel that the California Voting Rights Act is enabling the city to draw a map they see as gerrymandered. According to the Constitution and according to the Federal Voting Rights Act, um, districts shouldn't be based on race. And unfortunately, that's what's being done. That's what the lawsuit's all about, to create a majority minority district, primarily Hispanic. I'm Hispanic, and I feel offended by that, as if, for instance, we have no competency whatsoever to be able to have our own free will to decide what we want. Other residents see things differently, with some arguing the current at-large voting system doesn't give representation to minority voters. So we're looking to see representation uh, on that city council that, that cares about what our needs are. Our current city council has, does not reach out to these minority groups and find out what they need in the city. They just don't do it. Others just want to see improvements to the infrastructure around where they live. If you go up White's Canyon, you'll see White's Canyon is the only area in the city that, that doesn't have medians. Uh, we haven't heard anything back. So be on the lookout for the upcoming city council election in 2024. You could have someone campaigning a lot closer to your doorstep. For Canyons News, I'm Eli Kern.